ました。guys welcome back to the youtube channel and today we're getting the subaru dyno so um let's see if we could take this thing out the garage i think she's ready Motorsport getting my um, getting a Subaru dyno so um, she's about to get strapped on the dyno and we'll see what she make or what she do on the dyno what's up Carl? think she's ready Craigie? I think she's ready yeah. I think she's well, ready she looks happy up there I know right I know what do you think she's gonna do numbers wise yeah. I think that GT45 is going to be a stopping point. I'm going to say 600 wheel. 600? Damn, you give me that much? If I get 5 change, I mean 500, I'll be satisfied. Yeah. I'll be satisfied. If I had to put an exact number, I'm going to say 574. 574? That's my number. Uh, my number, I think, five, five forty. My guess, my guess. Yeah, so we're gonna see what the Subaru gonna do, and get back to you guys. So, cough. Yeah. Uh, exciting part now. I'm getting excited. I think Coffee is more nervous than me. Alright. Here we go. Alright guys, so me and my brother were just sitting there waiting for Mike to start to make pulls on, pull on the dyno, all excited. The car just went completely dead. So I went over there, um, we start checking fuse, we start checking relay, um, everything that you could possibly think about, we messed with it like about two hours and um, we still couldn't figure it out. So we unplugged everything, we unplugged the ECU, take the battery off. Monday evening I went back over there to the, um, to the shop. So I plugged back the ECU back in the car put on the power and the car starts up so that's what happened with the Subaru so but we got it figured out everything is good so um, enjoy the rest of the video all right man I got here a little bit late uh, my man already did the dyno but um, we having a problem with the converter he's saying that the, uh, the converter is slipping we gotta get a converter for it and then I'm gonna bring it back Finish dynamo. Alright, so I'm 
take it out the diner right now and just test her on the street for a little bit. Hey Mike! So what's really going on with this Subaru? Uh, so right now basically as we're rolling into boost, it's making enough torque that the torque converter can't hold what it's trying to make. So we need a new converter that's stronger. Right. So we won't just push through it. It basically acts like the way that it's it's acting right now is like as if you had a manual car and as you start coming into boost, uh, it turns into a slipper punch. Right. So, so that's our feeling point. Yeah, yeah. Converter. Which one you called it from the first? From when you was uh, when I was telling you all this stuff about it? Right, yeah, it's one of those it, things like yeah. it's unfortunately like, luckily it's an easy swap, but unfortunately it's one of those things where if it's not if it's not made to handle what we need to handle, right. It's just not going to work out well. So if we put we put something in that's a little bit overkill, that way it right. goes with the setup. We don't have to change it again. And then we make this thing do a lot of things that Subarus wish they could do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right, it's, well. it's funny because my bug eye is going to cry every time I say something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just to come, you know. At least she's going straight. It's not good, right? Even hear the turbo come in that good, just wastegate. Yeah, waste <laughs> it's not so discreet as it does on the dyno. That was only like, like three pounds. Three pounds? Yeah. What's up? On the dyno, it was like right around seven, like six and a half, seven. It says only three pounds. It was only three pounds. Yeah. That's with nothing on the hat. Alright. Yeah. yeah, it's, I mean, you just saw what I did, it's safe. Yeah. So now, we get that converter in. But honestly, if it's at this boost level, like, it can run. But when it was at seven pounds, it's pushing through. Yeah, right, so, right. So, yeah, get that converter in, and we'll fucking All right. start. Yeah, right. shot. Yeah. yeah, everything's good. It's like right now at like at like three pounds, it's in the low twelves for air fuel. I had it like the mid elevens at seven. And I just had it taper evenly towards atmospheric. Oh, okay. So what you guys had in there for like the Mandaday fire was pretty close. Uh, just a little bit more conservative. So I just, I, ju I just send it with my car. So. Yeah, I was. A little, I made a little bit richer. It's a little bit less timing right now. Right. Like so at this boost level like, you're only like 15 degrees. Oh. Like yeah. at the red limit I'm at 18. Okay. But at this boost level normally I'm like a regular car, I'm at like 24. So we got a lot to go. Yeah. Right. But like this is this is way way conservative. All right. How's, how's the temp doing? So, right now, because we've been sitting here, it's like 213. But rolling, it was like like 204, 206. Yeah, yeah. And on the dyno, it was similar. Like it was like 210, 212. That's not bad. LSs are always just higher. Yeah, it's a higher block too. Yeah. Track and get it finalized. Yep. And then that way also we can set two step up for the street and two step up for the track. For the track. You have two different maps on there, like load them up different, you know, depending on where you're going. Yeah. So right. You can have it on your laptop, you'll have a street map and a, and a track map. A track map. map. Okay.
that way because otherwise you sign up for the track you go on the street and blow the tires off and everything and then yeah. you sign up for the street you go to the track when there's extra traction and it won't get out of the hole where the shit yeah. Yeah. yeah so we'll make sure that we have two of them set up alrighty alright guys so I just gotta get a new converter for the Subaru change it out and uh, take it back to Mike let him do his thing and hopefully knock on wood hopefully that that's the last thing that go around with the Subaru and hopefully hopefully it goes smooth after this so um, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next upload